y'all. Welcome back to Cooking with Coop. Boy, we're going to do some dessert today. I'll tell you what we're doing. We're doing a cookie. That's right, a cast iron skillet cookie that is absolutely wonderful. Woo, here we go. <laughs> All right. Hey, before we get started with this cookie and everything, I want you to do something for me. Would you, would you subscribe to my channel? And would you click that bell notification so that every time I post a video, you get a notice of it, all right? And help me out by spreading the word that Cooking with Coop is the best cooking video channel on YouTube today, all right? I would appreciate that so much. So, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna get this skillet ready with the butter in it, okay? So we're gonna carry this over there to the stove. So let's get this skillet over here. We already got our burner up. We're gonna Put that up on high. We're gonna turn this oven on and let it preheat to 325 because we're gonna bake this cookie in there. 325, so it's 325. We're gonna brown this butter up. That's what we're gonna do. And uh, we're gonna get this butter in the skillet here. Here we go, yeah. Yeah, get all that paper off there. You don't wanna feed your people no paper. They don't, I tell you, people don't like eating paper. <laughs> I found that out, yes I did. We're gonna leave it up on high for this step of the cooking anyway. That's my Robo Mop. My Robo Mop Ace. Come here, boy. How you doing? Yeah. That's my Robo Mop. He's he's on wide open tonight. He he is he is mopping this floor like crazy, boys, I tell you. Yes, sir. We'll leave that on high right there, because we won't get done fast. I don't know about you, but when I get dessert, I want it fast. I don't have to wait on no dessert. All right, y'all, we're letting this butter melt up, and we're just going to let it melt and sizzle up just a little bit, not a whole bunch, because I'm hungry for this cookie. Yes, I am. Now, I've got a recipe for you. For those that like a recipe, you can look down there and scroll down there and get your recipe and uh, follow along. But uh, we're just going to let that butter do about like that. And then we're going to start adding this sugar. This here's a, a cup of brown sugar. Let's plop it in there. Bloop. See that? Looks like sand, but that's a good tasting sand right there. Then we got some of this here regular sugar. This is a half a cup. Half a cup regular sugar. We're going to spread this in here. And now the object and the goal is to just combine this up right here. Let me show you. We're just going to squish it around. We're going to turn this on low. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Mm. I'd like to just eat that like that right there. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We don't, we don't need to cook this. We're just getting it all together until it's well combined with all this buttery goodness. This is gonna be one happy cookie. I tell you what, a cookie and a cast iron skillet, boy, gonna be happy, gonna be so happy. Yes. Now see how that's just all mixed together and shiny? See that right there? And that's all you want. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna set it over here and we're just gonna let it cool off just a little bit because we're gonna put the uh, eggs in here. And we don't want them eggs to cook on this. It's not a scrambled egg cookie, all right? It's a chocolate chip cookie. So we need to let this cool down just a little bit, probably 10 minutes. So put 10 minutes on your timer. When that goes off, then you can put the rest of the stuff in it, okay? All right, it's been cooling now about 10 minutes and it looks about like this, see there? Wow. Yeah, boy. Mmm, it smells like caramel. Woo, I love that. Now we're gonna finish putting in some of our wet ingredients. So we're gonna put a couple of these eggs in there. So let's get them in there. There we go. Oh, one, two. See, it's cooled off enough that it's not cooking them eggs. Get them shells out of there. <laughs> we don't want a crunchy one, do we? <laughs> no. And this here is a teaspoon. Uh, vanilla extract we're gonna pour in there now we're just gonna mix this up here let's get it all mixed up we're gonna bust them yellows up yeah we're just gonna get all this here mixed together good now if you come back after 10 minutes and this sugar has gotten hard on you then what happened was you cooked it too much. All right, now don't ask me how I know that happens. <laughs> I know that that can happen on you if you ain't careful. Yes, sir. Two cups and two tablespoons of flour. This is all purpose flour. So we're gonna, we're gonna put that in here. Ooh, yeah, all right. 
Well, we got a teaspoon, teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of salt we're gonna put in there. That's cause we're using all purpose flour. That's why we put that in there. Now we got all of our dry stuff in here. We just gonna start turning it over and mixing it up some. And what we making is our cookie dough batter. And we just gonna keep right on the mixing this. Try not to slosh it out everywhere. I try to do things too fast sometimes, get it sloshed out everywhere. That makes my camera person mad. I'll try not to do that. All right, so now we've got that all mixed up our pretty good. And then we've got three quarters of a cup of regular chocolate chips. And we've got some chocolate chip chunks. And this is three quarters of the cup of them too. Now remember that recipe is down there for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some of these on here. I'm gonna save just a few for the top. Yeah, and then I'm gonna put some more on here. Yeah, I'm gonna save just a few, a few for the top of that too. We're gonna put them together there. They're going on the top in a minute. And then we're just gonna mix all this up just a little bit. Now we got that all flattened down and fixed up real good. Now them chocolate chips, they liable to melt a whole bunch on you, but that's okay if it does. Uh, maybe you don't want to mix it up quite as much, but I like mixing them up pretty good. And that's why I saved some out to go on top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sprinkle some of these on top, you use your hand, that's the best way to go about it. And just make sure your hands are clean, all right? You ain't pitch your nose or nothing. <laughs> that don't ever go too good. Of course, I don't think anybody would know it, really. <laughs> All right, we got these chocolate chips on here. We've got that oven preheated to 325 and we're gonna put it on the middle rack. Now we want to get this almost done, but not quite done because we still want it to be a little bit ooey and gooey in the middle. So start looking at it about 25 minutes. I'm gonna set this in here. Yeah, boy. All right, y'all, it's been 25 minutes. And so we're gonna bring this thing out, take a look at it. Oh, woo, wow. look at that. Yeah, oh my, my, my. I'm telling you, that looks just like something you'd see in a magazine right there, a cooking magazine. <laughs> yeah, boys, we're gonna go ahead and turn this off. Woo, all right, we're gonna take this right over here where we're gonna be serving it. Now, don't think you're gonna be cutting this up like a cookie cake. This ain't no cookie cake right here, all right? What this here is, is uh, it's really an ooey gooey soft chocolate kind of a cookie. So what you really need to do is you get you a spoon and kind of spoon this out a little bit because it is going to be ooey gooey, kind of like a cake almost. Look, look at that. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that chocolatey goodness. Yes. And then what you do is you, if they want some, you give them a little bit of ice cream right on the top of that. Now, you give them a spoon, cause it's hard to eat this, as gooey as it is, woo, it's hard to eat it with a fork. You wanna eat it with a spoon. So let's get us a little bit of that ice cream. Then we'll get us a little bit of that chocolate goodness right here. And that's gonna be a little warm. We're gonna try not to burn yourself too bad. But I just can't wait no more. Woo, I didn't wanna eat this so bad. Mmm. Boys, I'm telling you. They can't sell that in a restaurant. They'd create a stampede if they did. That is so good. Boy, I'm telling you this. You ought to get this recipe and you ought to make it for your people and see if they don't love it. I bet they do. Well, I'm thank you for stopping by in Uncle Cook's Kitchen. <clears throat> Woo, that is so good. I'm gonna have to quit filming and eat the rest of this. Y'all have a good one, bye. So we're gonna put that on bake. We're gonna go back, about 350. Be all right. What is it? 325. <sighs> Nothing wrong with that. For right now, this, this, this case of this, this. No, no. <laughs> <sighs> I just want to eat this cookie. I don't want to cook it. <laughs> you let me cook this and not tell me what's good. All right. You just run the camera and I'll run the skillet. Okay. Huh? 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 I want you to do something for me. If you'll, if you'll. I'm done with this tonight. <laughs>
I'm working on our blooper reel. I'll show you a blooper. I'll give you a blooper. These destructions are for you. Take out the trash. Echo said to take out the trash. <laughs> it helped I could see out of his glasses. You need to flatten it down for them. I just did. Yeah, but you didn't say anything about it. You let me cook this and not tell me what's good, alright? You just run the camera and I'll run the skillet, okay? 26 minutes. 26 minutes? Who up there won't eat this so bad? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my teeth, my teeth's too big. Mm.